Righto, Teleodo champs. Now today I'm going to talk about a laptop you should know about because this thing is special. And I didn't expect it. This came out of nowhere, this laptop. It certainly wasn't on my radar. If you don't know, my sort of favourite genre of sort of laptops is sort of the creator sort of gaming laptops. I don't go for the gaming laptops. They're a bit loud and big and, you know, a lot of them I don't like the style of. But I do like the creator, you know, the premium sort of laptops with good displays and enough power to be able to game. Yes, you need to be able to game, but more importantly, be a content creation beast. That is first and foremost for me. So I've gone with XPS 15s, 17s, even the MacBook Pro 14. I like that because I can play my football manager and I can play Civilization on that. So I can still game on that. But let's face it, Windows laptops are best for these things because they can game any AAA title. And this laptop here, the Asus VivoBook Pro 16X Wolf. Man, you got to know about this thing. A 3K OLED display, and I'll get to display in a sec. Like, out of this world, this display. But it's a 16-inch, you know, 16 by 10 display. 3K, as I said. This laptop houses HX parts, okay? So HX CPU and up to a RTX 4070. Yes, awesome. Now, I had an RTX 4060 in my one. It is 140 watt, and it is a 240 watt power brick. It has Thunderbolt. It has a MOOC switch. So that means you can switch on the GPU for better performance. We're not going through the integrated graphics. And, of course, you can upgrade the RAM, and it's got, a, you know, PCI Express 4 SSD, you look, it has everything you want. Now, the genius of this laptop is it can game like a gaming laptop, no problems. But for content creation, it is amazing. I've got to talk about this display, like OLED. When you see this display and you put it against other displays, it looks like night and day difference. The pop, how vivid it is, the contrast, it just nothing really compares in that terms. In terms of contrast, up to 650 nits of brightness, HDR 10 bit, 120 hertz if I didn't mention that, 3.2K, perfect resolution, pretty much 100% of Adobe and, you know, and DCI P3. It is a cracking display and it is the best thing about this it's a showstopper one of the best displays on the laptop period like i cannot stress how good this display is and i tell you now you look at this and you're going to agree like just tick 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 the display is just amazing that's the best thing about it and it's got the power to back things up, right? 16-inch H parts. You can actually get up to an i9 13980 HX, like pretty much the most powerful thing out there, and an RTX 4070, as I said before. And you can have studio drivers, which I do. Of course, you can get the game-ready ones if you want. Two RAM slots, DDR5, of course, and one M.2 slot, and it is 4.0. Now, the build is plasticky. It's, like, super tough and durable, and I guess it's not as premium as some of the Zen books if you you look at the finish of it but it's tough and durable has a 90 watt hour battery now with a battery life you wouldn't expect it would be amazing with a hx part and yeah whatever it's like that five sort of hours there that's when you use the MOOC switch to switch it to integrated I guess that's the only downside to this laptop, but those HX parts, those Intel parts, they just suck juice. That's just how it is. But it's enough to get you by in terms of battery life, has a fingerprint sensor, has a full-size SD card slot. It actually has the dial pad in the trackpad. Asus, innovation, they just kill this stuff. All the other ports you want and expect, including Thunderbolt, yes, that's USB Type-C, Type-A, Thunderbolt, SD card reader, and Ethernet. Perfect port selection. Everything about this is absolutely perfect, except maybe the battery life could be better there. And yes, I'd like to see this in a Zenbook edition with the premium metal sort of finish there, but, you know, it certainly looks pretty good if you ask me. And I know for a fact, that this sort of plastic is really durable so you can not that you would but you could throw these things about and no jokes it's a 240 watt package that's the power brick no jokes this thing could sustain nearly 150 watts cpu and gpu that's in its max performance mode and it wasn't even that loud well especially compared to a gaming laptop it was just over 50 decibels so up to 150 watts cpu and gpu performance together that is gaming laptop like. That is 15 inch sort of gaming laptop performance there. In a thing that's stealthy because no one's going to think this is a gaming laptop. I have nothing but praise for this laptop. The keyboard and trackpad work well. 
The sound is actually pretty decent. The HDR display is amazing. And look, another sort of, it's not a criticism, but it's got a full-size keyboard and a trackpad to the left, which I don't like. I don't like that. I like the trackpad centered and just a normal keyboard. I don't want numbers. Yeah, other than that, this thing is just got to be on your radar there. And if you are in the market for a content creation laptop that can friggin' game and you want the best display out there, this is it. This is it. And um, I'm going to have a look at the XPS 16, but I've got to say, this is a better value and I might get this. I really might get this. Anyway, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.